we are just weeks away from the release of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, going on sale from the 26th of August. From the latest leaks, it looks like Samsung have fixed the outer screen issue by widening it on the upcoming Z Fold 4, which is something I highlighted in a separate video about eight months ago. First of all, let's take a look at the outer screen, which shows the Z Fold 4 on the right is going to be slightly shorter and wider in terms of width, which is an improvement on its predecessor, the Z Fold 3 on the left, and should make typing easier on the outer screen. It looks like the hinge has been redesigned in terms of it being scaled back to accommodate the large outer screen, plus the aspect ratio which changed from the current 25 by 9 to 23 by 9, which is in keeping with its competitors. If you look closely, the inner screen on the Z Fold 4 on the right is going to be slightly shorter and more squared than the Z Fold 3 on the left, but it will still be 7.6 inches. Both the outer and inner screen will have 120 hertz refresh rate. Now that is what I have been calling for. Yes, for the outer screen to be widened so it looks like a regular smartphone. As there are times you do not want to advertise to the world you have an expensive device by unfolding it. Just take a look at examples like the Oppo Find N, the Vivo X Fold and the Huawei Mate S which is now the Huawei Mate X2. Again, Ice Universe, who is a reliable source of information confirms that under display camera on the inside screen on the Z Fold 4 will have over 400 pixels and you can still see the pixels but it is an improvement on the 172 pixels on the current Z Fold 3. I still think the under display camera has some way to go in competing with the likes of the one on the Xiaomi Mix 4 which cannot be seen with the naked eye on the outer screen. I also think five cameras on the Fold series is too much on a device. Is the camera on the inner screen needed? Ice Universe shows the crease on the inner screen on the Z Fold 4 on the right is less prominent than the current Z Fold 3 on the left, which is an improvement. According to Ice Universe, the following specs are expected on the Z Fold 4, which is not too dissimilar to the current Z Fold 3. This time round, the inner screen will have a QXGA AMOLED display, plus the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. There are unconfirmed rumours there will be a 1TB storage option, but Ice Universe says there will be the 256 and 512GB models, which should be ample storage options considering there is no expandable storage on the Z Fold lineup. Regardless of the storage options, do not expect prices to be cheap. I still think, for the price, the device should come with 1TB of internal storage as standard. Ice Universe has confirmed there will be a 1TB storage option for the Z Fold 4, which is fantastic news. But guess what? It will only be available in Korea? Hmm. There is no mention of a chamber to accommodate the S Pen, like the S22 Ultra, so it looks like that will be sold separately. Personally, I would love to have the S Pen inside the device, so the chances of losing it are slim and it can charge automatically. I am willing to accept the S Pen will not have a chamber. What is still not clear to me is whether the S Pen can be used on the outer screen. In terms of colours, apparently they will come in phantom black, green and beige, which is not much different to the current Z Fold 3 range. It would have been nice if they had other colours such as blue and mystic bronze. Also a bright colour like red or deep orange would have been nice options too. When it comes to weight, there is an improvement in this area. Again, Ice Universe has confirmed the Z Fold 4 will weigh 254 grams, which is the lightest yet to date, unlike the current Z Fold 3 that weighs 271 grams, meaning the Z Fold 4 will be 17 grams lighter and should be noticeable if one is carrying the device around for a period of time. I certainly cannot complain about the weight loss. What are your thoughts on the upcoming Z Fold 4? Will you be upgrading or purchasing one? I am excited at the changes proposed by Samsung and I had better start saving if I want one. Now let's see. Two, four, six, eight. Oh.